Profile is a new surface creation tool in Alias 2013. In simplest terms, a surface is created by sweeping a profile section along a rail path. Go to Surfaces, Swept Surfaces, Profile. Many of the selections will be familiar with other alias tools and use a similar workflow. There are three options for profile orientation, Parallel, Radial and Surface Normal. I'll start with the default Radial. Creating a seal along this flange is an ideal application for a radial profile. As this seal section is swept along the flange, it will pivot to maintain the same angle with the rail path normal from beginning to end. The result will be a surface with a constant section throughout. Start by selecting the profile. It can be composed of one or more curves or surface edges. It can have gaps, sharp bends, and can be closed. Chain Select works where tangency exists. Because some of the profile is not tangent continuous, I'll have to pick these separately. And accept. Next, select the rail path. Rails can be multiple curves or surface edges. They must be position and tangent continuous and can be closed. I'll select the flange surface edge and build. In surface structure there are several options. Multiple surfaces creates a separate surface for each curve in the profile section and the surfaces are grouped. Bezier surface is only available when multiple surfaces are selected. If checked, each surface will be Bezier. Bezier patches are single span and their maximum U duration degree is set through explicit control. The default is the degree of the rail path. Single surface builds the entire profile sweep in one surface. Modify range allows adjustment to the start and end of the profile surface. A value can be entered. The start and end sliders can be placed visually or the sliders will snap to the red X's along the rail at curves on surface and isopalms. In this example I'll use profile to create grill bars in this fascia opening with a parallel profile orientation. I'll select the three closed profiles and this rail path. History is created by default so I can easily change the surfaces by making adjustments to the profile section curves or the rail path. Here I've isolated the curves from the last example to quickly show how parallel differs from radial. I'll create a profile surface with parallel orientation and another with radial. You can see in the parallel example, as the profile was swept along the rail path, it remained parallel from beginning to end. In the radial example, the profile kept the same angle relative to the curve normal throughout. In this last example, I'll use the surface normal option in profile orientation. Here I have a side glass that I'd like to put a molding around. I'll select the profile curves. Next I'll select this curve as the rail. Since this curve is not associated with the surface, 
I am asked to select a surface for profile orientation. I'll select the glass surface. With surface normal, the orientation of the profile section is determined by the normal direction of the chosen surface at the closest point between the rail path and the surface. The profile surface appears to be more complex than the input geometry. A quick check shows the profile surface has four spans, while the input surface and curve are single span. Check-in match parameterization will use the input geometry for the profile parameterization. Profile complements the capabilities of extrude and rail with additional functionality. A profile can consist of multiple edges or curves. The normal direction of a surface can be used to influence the profile surface. The profile surface can adapt to the parameterization of the input geometry. And the surface structure can be specified as multiple, multiple bezier, or single surface.